And for more now on the normalization of relations between Washington and Havana, we go to our correspondent in the U.S. capital of Washington, D.C., Alexandra Hall. It started with the surprise release of the three remaining Cuban five prisoners and also U.S. government contractor Alan Gross. But it was a historic day as Cuba and the United States have reopened diplomatic relations for the first time since 1961. In an address to the Cuban people on Wednesday, President Raul Castro said that the reopening is directly in line with the principles of the Cuban Revolution. And President Obama, for his part, acknowledged that U.S. policy towards Cuba had failed. Now, Let's remember that Cuba is still on the United States list of state sponsors of terrorism and that the economic embargo is still in place. Only Congress can remove it. And as the Republicans are poised to take control of both houses of Congress in January, that could be a dif difficult task for the Obama administration. In Washington, I'm Alexandra Hall for Telesur.